Welcome back to the channel. Do you want to make a CV that can help you get an Amazon call? I'm going to develop a live CV similar to a template that I used to get an Amazon internship in Luxembourg back in 2019. And in fact, we are going to use one of our subscribers data. I'm keeping the person's name anonymous, but I have the information about them in a spreadsheet. They've given me some information and we're going to build a CV from scratch live in this video. Okay. Let's get started right away. Here is some information about the person done bachelor degree in mechanical engineering and small diploma in data analytics, recent internship in an e-commerce company with some pointers that's given and also previous internship in an automotive plant a supply chain internship. And the person has also done some projects. In fact, these projects are coming from our own YouTube channel. So we are going to also see how to put this in the CV, right? On top of this, I also got to know some like unique facts about the person. Person is a bike enthusiast, likes to wall paint and stuff. We'll see if we can include this also in the CV. Okay. So let's get started right away. So I have a sample template. I will link this also in our description so you can use and start editing. Okay. At the top, you can just put your name, right? Like make it big. Then you can put your email. I have not filled in the email, but you can put in your email address. Then put a link to your LinkedIn. Okay, it should relink to your LinkedIn. Here I've just connected my LinkedIn, but you can connect your own LinkedIn. Then I have a GitHub link which can connect your GitHub profile, right? Or your portfolio website, depending on whatever you have. But please make sure you put it on top. Then the first statement you need to give is what are you looking for, right? So you can say data analyst in this person's case, data analyst with e commerce experience looking for. Let's say challenging analytics roles, right? This is not a must, but giving a small summary one liner on what you're looking for can help. Okay. And given this person's case background in mechanical engineering, just a diploma in data analytics, we can actually start with their technical skills and any business acumen they have because recruiters will like to see that first, right? Because their background is maybe not directly relevant. Right. And in this person's case, the person knows SQL. So I'm going to add SQL. Uh, the person also knows Microsoft Excel, right? We can add that. The person has done some dashboards and Tableau. So we can add that. What else? The person knows a little bit of Python, obviously. The person also said they know some uh, Google analytics. So I'll just add these. Okay. The main tools are already in place. And uh, yeah, it's up to you whether you want to make it bold or not. You can leave it as such as well. Okay. In terms of analysis and business topics, when I talked a little more, although we don't have that info in the sheet, person said they knew a little bit about what is cohorts. They've heard about AB testing. They've done something. So I put AB testing also there. Then they also know a little bit about e-commerce businesses in general, like customer lifetime value. So you can put CLTV. Okay. Then they also know a little bit about marketing in general, like digital marketing metrics, SEO. So maybe we can put SEO. Then on top of that, the person also said they done some uh, machine learning regression. They have basic understanding. So we can say regression and also some uh, loyalty analysis. Okay. So I will put these in. This can be the business document, business topics the person knows. Okay. Now coming to work experience and projects. So person is presently working in Bangalore, India as a intern. Let me go back to the data. So person is working internship e-commerce company. We want to keep the name anonymous, but these are the things that the person has been doing. Okay. So let's go step by step. So I'm just going to say Z uh, commerce, right? This is just a fictitious name. And uh, it's always good to mention in brackets what they are. This person's company is a fashion retailer, one of the top 10 in India. So can say a top 10 fashion retailer in India. Okay. Make it look big, right? Try to project your company as something big. That's the idea of putting this in bracket. And they're working as a digital data, data analyst intern. Okay. That's the position. Let me also just make this bold, right? Just to make it uniform. So digital data analyst intern. And uh, dates, I think it's 2022. So I'm just putting Feb 2022 to present. Okay. Now let me go to the points dashboard building data studio for marketing, right? The person just gave me uh, any idea. 
so we can say developed dynamic dashboards on tableau right that's the tool they used in the job uh, for marketing so to analyze let's say some marketing metrics like cpc ctr and conversion metrics okay that's what the person did marketing metrics didn't give me too much clear info but just told me they worked with marketing metrics so we can make it clear right then next point is sql they said basics they have used window function once or twice to run analysis and marketing data right they know some window functions so a classic use case of window function is year on year analysis right so we can say leveraged window functions in sql to analyze revenue data year on year and identify trends right so whatever the person did right it's a little bit small make it look more fancy right that's the idea and this is actually something they have done right we are not lying or anything so it's totally fine then they coordinated with another team for ab test setup so maybe they didn't do it directly this person so i can say performed ab testing coordinating with content marketing team okay and what do you do in ap testing you also develop hypothesis so you can say developed hypothesis okay hypothesis so this can also help so you highlighting you know little bit of ab testing let's add more points what else the person has done python just use some pandas functions so i assume since it's marketing data you can say leveraged uh, we already have the word leveraged analyzed we can use analyzed marketing data using python pandas and uh, let's say identified top performing campaigns in terms of revenue okay then another point he said excel for pivots and some conditional formatting i assume okay so we can say built excel charts with conditional formatting features and delivered analysis to let's say the management team okay so this can be a good idea right so we are like also using another tool here excel so we are making uh, it look like they know excel right and obviously the person has used conditional formatting so we are just highlighting that okay that's pretty much it pretty uh, good already so if you want again this is optional but you can highlight just the tools right in bold so i can highlight for instance sql here and i can also highlight tableau here this is up to you but i'm just showing you right i'm just highlighting a couple but you can also highlight python excel if you want right so this experience is already pretty complete now uh next we can move on to the automotive experience already uh so the person has not given a timeline so i'm just going to put fictitious timelines for that but you can all uh, you know adapt that right we are not going to give any specific name to the company all that is like let's say uh, anonymous okay so i'm just going to add a uh, automotive company right so let's say we can add uh, automotive right whatever the name of the company is and again highlight what they do right let's say they are a uh, top 5 uh, automotive manufacturer or something right something special about the company or if they make x million in sales highlight that uh that location was also bengaluru right dates can change maybe it's before right maybe it's uh, some date in 2021 so you can just put that right so you can put december 2021 to let's say it had a end date uh let's say uh, jan 2022 or whatever i'm just putting fictitious dates but you can just put that here it was a supply chain analyst intern so you can highlight that supply chain analyst right and now let's look at what they have done there 
uh, nothing too much data analytics but analyze supply chain data a little bit right that person told me about that so what i can do i can just remove this point and simply say delved uh, deep into supply chain data and uh, understood let's say patterns right uh, since it's supply chain we can say understood supply patterns or something like that okay then uh, recommended some changes they've given a very vague point not even sure what it is but i assume it's based on uh, diving deep into supply chain that they recommended changes so i can say recommended changes to processes in supply chain operations and then probably what this could have done maybe it would have optimized some time or something so you can say optimized uh, process time by like six percent seven percent some simple number you can put in there as well right and then identified some kpis for weekly basis so this is basically just going through the supply chain metrics and identifying important kpis so we can say uh, discussed with the operations team about let's say it was a supply chain plan so about plant data and then you can say identified kpis for weekly performance analysis right? that's what they've done so i'll just add that okay so pretty simple just given three points but i think yeah it's already okay uh, delve deep into supply chain data maybe they would have used the tool so you can say using some tool in that case if they use sap just you can use sap i'm not sure but i'm just filling in that point right so this is already good uh, although it's not directly data analyst you're at least showcasing like you are optimizing patterns working with trends and things like that okay this is how you can put that experience and then i think these are the only two internships they have uh, and uh, stuff so one more thing is whatever text we have and whatever text we have here uh, ideally we need to you know like also make them uh, you know the same size but like you can also do that later okay so we can move forward with filling up the cv what else has the person given so projects swiggy project right they've used multiple tools this i think comes from our channel playlist if i go here uh, to my analyst aditya channel uh, you know and to the playlist i think there is a swiggy project right we have done it in three tools as you see one in excel one in sql one in python they have done all the three i guess that's what the person means okay so we can also highlight that okay so here location and all is not important you can put some location and time right that's not the uh, main part of the projects thing but i will just put um, like this and let's say since it's uh, e-commerce company i'll say swiggy e-commerce project or something so you don't really need a position here you can put a name if you want but it's not really a position so I'll just remove that uh, even like technically timeline you don't need to put but if you want you can keep it right if the person did it at a particular point of time they can still keep it as such since it's more like a project work okay so uh, we have done three videos on our channel one in excel one in sql one in python so based on what i know about our videos i'm going to add points Right. we did a year-on-year uh, -year revenue change in python so we can say analyzed uh, food ordering data and performed or like let's say and uh, identified revenue change from 2020 to 2021 in python okay this is one thing we did then using sql and say uh, identified restaurants with most revenue share using 
rank window function in SQL, right? This is what I have done in my SQL video on Swiggy. And then using some pivot charts, built pivot charts and identified uh, cities with most, let's say, sales using Microsoft Excel, right? This is something I've done in the Excel video. So you can put all this. So we are also mentioning tools, right? That way also it's beneficial. Okay, so that is something this person has done. And they also done the other projects on our channel, some uh, SQL project based on Alex, the analyst YouTube channel, Tableau sales dashboard project, YouTube project on scraping as well. So yeah, we can also highlight that, right? So this is a full fledged project. So you can add more like uh, projects, like more like ad hoc projects. And I highlight uh, those um, three projects as well, if you want. Then we can move on. So we can, you can add that below, but this is just a way you can build your CV. Then going to education, let's say the university uh, or the academy where they did their diploma, let's say ABC Academy. I'm just going to give a fictional name. Diploma in data, right? Data analytics. Again, you can vary the timelines. I'm not sure what was the timeline, but you can put that accordingly. And the person said they learned Excel SQL. They did some projects, live projects as well. So, and they performed well, like they were in the top 10% of the batch. So let's say we can highlight that, right? Finished in top 10% of the batch. Then also we can all talk about projects. So the final project uh, about, I think it was about COVID data. So COVID data analysis, okay? Something interesting. So we can also highlight that, okay? All this need not be um, uh, bold, so we can like just make it not bold. Okay, so this is what they did, and then some X Y college. Uh, I'm not even sure of the name of the college, but I just put some any college. If it's a top college in India for your department for your province, just highlight that. Write something. Put that something in the bracket. And then this person cleared a exam, entrance exam, like more than a million students wrote, got a decent rank, so highlight that top 2 percentile, top 4 percentile, whatever. It was in Hyderabad, but you can change the, uh, you know, like the location according to what, what it is about for you. Okay, that'll be your education section. If you had any relevant coursework, you can also highlight that, okay. So you can say relevant coursework. This person's case, they had uh, some uh, max, a subject uh, related to stats so max 3 with the focus on stats or statistics can be relevant then some financial analytics subject as well as uh, somewhere in the final year so you can add whatever you feel is a little bit relevant okay and then finally we come to activities so activities again you can just put one or two things in this case you can say wall painting enthusiast right just something different about the person then uh, I can also say bike riding uh, or like bike rider with 2000 or whatever distance about 2000 kilometers of riding like yeah riding experience across India something like that again you don't need to really highlight this so I can just make it not bold okay so yeah can add uh, more stuff as you see but this can already be a decent format you're like highlighting and again if you want you can make uh, this is like times roman 11 you can make these text also the same right so i can go here and just make it 11 just to make it look uniform right okay and i can also make this 11 i guess But you can basically, as you see, play around with the format a little bit, but you can take this as a base format. And this like help me get an internship at Amazon similar format. So I hope it will also help you all, right? You can add other stuff as well. Uh, but I hope, you know, this, this acts as a nice sample format where you can add other things. You can add more stuff from our YouTube channel as well, like based on the projects, you write stuff. And I think this will be really useful. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll share this template in our description. Stay tuned for more such videos. Till then, take care and see you.